I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 with my father and brother and I. We're at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. I'm Arthur Boyle of Performance Appraisal Services. We're residential real estate appraisers with a company founded in 1994 by Mike Gianelli and I in the basement of my house in Malden. We've since grown to have offices in Malden and Pembroke. We serve the Eastern Mass counties, including Cape Cod. A good client for us is an attorney or a private landowner or a private property owner who's going through a probate process or a divorce division of property. Call us at 781-293-6900. Ask for Arthur Boyle or Amanda Boyle Grazioso. Our first name is Performance. Available for the public through video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access. Channel for a broadcast of future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Uh, so we're now going to 740. We have a uh, request for determination of, of applicability. 51 Adams Circle Daniels for septic system upgrade. How you doing? Very good. I'm just going to use the chair here. Yeah, go right ahead. Um, my name is Dave Clark. I'm calling Civil Engineering Group. Um, we're here for a uh, determination of applicability for 51 Adams Street for septic repair. Uh, it's right on Old um, Ham Pond. Uh, the blue line is the uh, top of bank for the pond. The green line is the uh, wetland delineated by George Pond. And the yellow line is the property line. The orange is the 50. The uh, the red is the 100 foot buffer. And we have marked out here in a heavy line on both sides, uh, elevation 95, which is the 100 year flood zone on both sides of the house. Um, everything's going to take. Uh, everything's going to happen within outside the 50, and mostly outside the 100. Uh, there's going to be some excavation between the 50 and 100 for a new um, three compartment tank. Uh, normally you have a tank into a tank for a pump system. This is gonna be a three compartment tank. Uh, this has not been reviewed by the Board of Health. Uh, as of yet, it's gonna be reviewed next week. But the tank's gonna go uh, just out, just inside the 100 foot buffer. Uh, we do have a few, um, a, f a little bit of the um, recharge area inside the 100 foot buffer. Uh, there is gonna be a cell fence starting from the corner of the house on the north side and working all the way up to the street and then on the other side from the corner of the house working all the way up to the side of the driveway to the street um, and the detail for the cell fence is on there. Uh, there is a change on the plan that you have. We added two notes. Uh, they're just notes for, for the Board of Health and for the state. Um, other than that you have this exact plan. I brought two copies of the revised plan and, I can, and it's just uh, some notes in here. These are all the variances that we're requesting for the Board of Health, and in some of those we forgot uh, two state notes that we had to add. So I added those two state notes. I have two copies of the plan with me tonight that I can leave. Can you tell me what the purpose of the third tank is? Uh, it's a three compartment tank. Um, so you, in, normally you would have a 1,500 gallon tank into a 1,000 gallon pump chamber. Uh, there's just no room for that. So we're doing a three compartment tank, which kind of combines both of them. The settlement tank and the pump chamber. Not on the wall inside of it. Yeah. Um, but these are the realized ones. There's a detail of it right here. It's just the, it's just the notes right here. 
everything else is the same. Right. Thank you. Where do you put the Zabel filter on this one? Uh, the Zabel filter is going to have to go between the glass compartment and the. Size uh, Siltark we're going to use? Uh, I believe that's uh, that's a six inch uh, burial, but the size of the Siltark is eight inch. Okay, I'll oh, state the eight inch. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's quite a 12, but he's okay, also not crazy about the silk fence. So, yeah, we, we prefer with it without the silk fence and you can run a 12 inch silk sock. Just a 12 inch silk yeah, sock? Yeah, just a 12 inch silk sock for that. The, the silk fences blow away, they just they make a mess, you know, and I know that. On the, I know that side, on the up on the side, four inches of wood chips. Four inches of wood chips. Yeah, just a, any, any filtration, just yeah, running anything. Just running that up and down. Yeah, slows it down a bit. Okay. Yeah, you can you can do away with the with the fence part all together. Yeah, we'll just not. We can call it the wood chip so on the right side. Right. right. All right. right. Um, so the board of health hasn't even reviewed that. No, the board of health hasn't reviewed it. Uh, there are quite a few variances, uh, but it's a it's one of those designs where you do the best that you can. And, um, I know. Tiny lots. Yeah, very tiny. The, yeah. the house is almost on top of the street. So. This is coming right up in the front. Yeah. yeah. The good thing about that is in the future we get so much from there and the road, everything's up front. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, there's going to be a landscape wall so we can level out the front a little bit. A little uh, foot and a half to two foot landscape wall. And then we're going to maintain the driveway just as it is. Um, this, this is how close to the road? Yeah. Yeah, if there's a waiver for that in there. Okay. Yeah. You have no trains around here? No. no. Sewers. Not that I know of. Uh, normally, we, there is some at the intersection. There's a catch basin yeah, down there. Right, right next to it. No. That's a plus. They still have to put some kind of protection on the street to make sure it doesn't get out into the... Yeah, it's on the ground. The reason they yeah. sunk would be the problem. It goes to the easiest way, which would be into the sun. Well, if it's pretty standard, I would say, for that lot size that's yeah. over there. It's, where is the existing? Uh, it's, it's actually right up front. Uh, there's a small tank, and then there's a lightly circle. You can barely see it through the system. It's a leaching pit. That's going to be dug out or filled? That's going to be removed. Yeah. That's all it's going to do. Keep sure the black gold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it just the pencil pusher. No stock barrel yeah. yeah. on this side. There's just yeah, there's no one for it. It looks okay, but where the Board of Health hasn't approved it, can we? We can't act on it delay to any. No, right, right. I mean, we could. We can have everything ready for it. Yeah, we we can issue a pending approval provided the Board of Health doesn't require any changes, you know, and then just submit the final plan with the other notes with that on it before it starts, and then Bobby will come down and take a look and see, but All right, yeah. until the Board of Health approves everything, um, yeah, yeah, we, we, uh, we can't approve until it's finalized. So if the Board of Health says, no, you're going to have to do this, you're going to have to do that, we can't go in. Either that, you're going to have to come back and change it. So, okay. so this would be a, a conditional approval by the Board of Health? Yeah, yeah straight right. conditional in in the notes. Yeah, yeah in the notes. And, and that's fine. We have no issue at all doing that. 
So we wouldn't have to show if they brought out the crews in. The plans, even if they slightly change a little bit, I mean, there's a note they want here or something. I don't. The design's not going to change. Right. Um, right. The, the thing we'd like to see is we'll have our standard boilerplate of conditions as far as with site storage. Definitely change to the 12 inch silt sock and the wood chips, you know, on the up one side. Uh, you can take the silt fence out completely if you, you know, if you want to do that. Um, and then just get us a set. And if nothing changes, that's fine. Any major changes, you're going to need to come back in or at least show us the plans. If it's good, we'll approve it and it'll be okay. So we can have a, a temporary approval pending no major changes required by the Board of Health as long as that's okay. All right. Um, we have a motion to close. Well, actually, it would be a motion to continue right. until after the board of health. Yes, it would be. Yeah. Yeah, no, would I be. think we would. I would have just extending because if we close, then all the things he has to refund. Right, right. If there, if there happened to be a big change, if we just extend, then then you can we we can and then after that we he doesn't have to be here for us to close. Right. We, we can just have to assume it. Uh, yeah. And if the change to plans do change, two copies. Yeah. But yeah, well, it could say that we can vote on it on yeah. our next one when it goes, and, and as long as there's no major changes, we'll be fine with that. Yeah, that's well, I'll make a motion to continue it till after the board of health. Okay, that's it. We need to have a specific time. When do you, any idea when you guys are going in front of the board of health? Or? Next week, so the, the next meeting Two be weeks out? Two weeks out is fine. Two yeah. weeks out. Fourteen. That makes it the fifteenth. First. It's the first. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, I'm not going to because one plus fourteen is fifteen. I'm not going to be here on the fifteenth. Okay. We have to be the select. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the fifteenth is not being at seven o'clock. I'll I'll send the invitation. Okay. Or is that something we can approve anyway? If that's the case, we can yeah. vote on it on the fifteenth and notify them if anything happens. Uh, well, we have to. You know, we can we can extend it to the fifteenth, which is what two weeks. Yes, yes. two weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would yeah. Be the next that, motion that we continue until the fifteenth. Okay, motion's been made to continue it until the fifteenth. And second, uh, any other questions? Rachel, we have time. Eight forty-five, eight forty. What time? Well, on that date, 7.40. 7.40 on the 15th. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. And just get us a new set uh, if there's any changes. Andy, uh, I have a meeting with a planning board at 8.30 on conservation matters. Yep. So, tonight? Tonight. That, okay. That's there. So I want to no, let you know it. I like, and I'd like to be here for the thing, but I've sure. got to go over there and try to square away some other conservation. Yeah, we have a notice of intent thing here and a couple of the minor things to go over, so I think we should be all right. We have about half an hour to do so. Just for the heads up, so that who knows, the select board has extended an invitation. More so for a seven o'clock meeting next Monday night with the men. They want the whole board there is the way it said so. Seven may not work for me. Yeah. I'm an hour away at work and I work till six. Well, I'm, I'm give me the head. We, but I'll be, we will get it officially, but that was the thing they want to meet. Okay. It might be seven ten, seven fifteen by the time I can make it, but I will be that trip. Okay. Um, so our next hearing is a continuation of the notice of intent of Valley Street for Brain Brain Frank DEP file SE 56-979 proposed driveway with a proposed single family residence. Uh, good evening, I'm Steve Kotowski from Webby Engineering, and uh, I'm here to present a, a new plan this evening. 
Uh, the last time I was here before the commission, um, I was proposing a, a, a pretty different plan than what you're looking at here tonight. Uh, this was the one that we had a driveway crossing that was filling in about close to 5,000 square feet of wetlands. Uh, we presented it. The commission felt that we should go before the uh, planning board to see what their feelings were about it. I met with uh, Mr. Clark and the planning board a couple weeks ago, and uh, needless to say, they weren't all that thrilled with the idea of what we were proposing. So. Uh, went back to my client, went over what the feelings were at the board, uh, where things were with this commission, and we felt that the only option we had left was to go, go back to the drawing board. Uh, what you're looking at tonight is basically, this was the plan that was presented before the commission. I think the only member that was on at the time was Mr. Clark. Uh, I think all the members in here tonight were members at the time. But this plan um, was uh, submitted with just a... Uh, as a, as a basically a plot plan. It wasn't a lot of detail uh, in it. Um, and it was um, uh, combining these two lots um, using the amount of room that we have available to us and essentially we've got the same plan tonight that we had with the addition of just some, some changes which is that uh, we went out uh, last week and did perk tests um, and uh, up on the upland side of this up on the side of the hill here uh, conditions were actually a little bit better than what we were expecting we expected the water table to be a lot lower but it was because this was all filled in and um, actually it's kind of interesting little subtopic about that filling in we always noticed there was an old well and some old foundation of something that was over in this area that was filled and then when I mentioned it to my client he said well there was a house there at one time you know, that has anything to do with this tonight but I just thought it was interesting you know, on this lot that one time it was an old house that he had filled in. He thought it was around 1981. So anyway, uh, what we're proposing tonight is uh, uh, it's a pretty modest size house, 24 by 32. We've got to maintain 40 feet back from the street line with 41 feet. We've got to maintain 21 feet off the sideline with 20, uh, 20 feet off the sideline with 21 feet, which gives us to the BBW only 30 feet off. Um, it's a 25 foot, um, basically limit of work, which gives us only five feet off. This was obviously not uh, something that the last commission was all that crazy about. Uh, we, again, as I said, we, we didn't have at the time the uh, septic design done because we sort of knew that this would be something that might not get off the ground and we wouldn't want to go through the expense at that, at, at that time. But my client didn't want to go through the expense of uh, going through hiring a machine, digging holes, and all that. So uh, ultimately, the commission had denied the notice of intent. Uh, we went before uh, DEP filed uh, to get a superseding order of conditions on on the lot, and DEP uh, was in favor of the t town's position, which is that we hadn't done our due diligence to get a uh, you know a full design to present before the. The, the board. There were some issues that were uh, missing off the plan, full size of what the septic system was going to be, details with grading, things like that. So the plan that I have tonight uh, hopefully fills in the gaps on, on, on what we were lacking the last time we had presented this. Again, it, the setbacks are all the same as what was there. The driveway is in the same location. This, the only difference between this plan and the other plan, I believe, is that the reserve area is now on this lot. And that's just basically because we decided we wanted to give us a little bit more room for grading in the driveway. We didn't want to have the reserve area under the driveway. So I submitted this plan, and we submitted this plan last Thursday to the Board of Health. I'm not sure how long the process takes for them to review it, but I just wanted to kind of start off tonight with presenting what we've what we've got left. And I also have for discussion and, and another alternative, which I'd like to present if the commission would like. Uh, we could talk about this one first, or... The alternative, it's... Uh, Which pink line is... That's, that's the 25 foot off here. Uh, the 50 is, is here, so uh, this is the BBW line here. So we're uh, 30 feet is, is really just without shrinking the house down to something smaller than 24 by 32, which is a pretty, pretty modest size home. Um, what, is the wetland line the line that was agreed upon? Yeah, the only ones that had changed, and we showed them here, Bob, was uh, Mr. Clark, is, is the, uh, these two lines were uh, relocated. In, I mean, these two flags were relocated in here. Uh, the rest of it was all the ones we were agreed upon when they had uh, had an outside consultant review the lines. Um, Where's the driveway? Uh, it's yellow right in here. I don't know if you can see it down there. Okay. Yeah, it's a two-car-width driveway. Uh, 
Well, in the original plan, we had just got some proposed retaining walls in front because we weren't sure what the water table elevations were going to be. We didn't need to do that. Essentially, what we're doing is we're filling the whole front yard right up to the front of the house. It'll have a walkout basement to the rear. Um, again, we've uh, incorporated the uh, permanent vegetative buffer. It'll be flagged. Uh, we can put the uh, standard... Um, posts and uh, signage along the edge of the 25 foot and we just ended it here rather than extending this any further we don't think that there's going to be any need for anybody to have any room over here so that was again it's not the best of lots but it's what my clients sort of left with right now given that we've kind of tried all the other options to see if we can develop this land again just trying to remind you this land uh, is uh, he's, he's owned it and developed and created this lot in the 1970s and he's owned it all these years and you know, just recently he started to try to develop these as, as, he, as he can. So that whole parcel is now one lot? Yeah, these two would be combined. I mean, right now they are two uh, separate lots yeah. of record, but yeah. for the purposes of just uh, give us a little bit more, more room for the reserve area and the water line and everything around the sleeving it and going through all that. We felt we'd just slide it over here. It's you know meets the setbacks. Now, if you you have requested a new and you know, all for example. Well, that's kind of the thing is we knew we had. Is it is it heavy? Have you or have you? No, we have. Okay. And, and again, that was sort of just tonight. We had the opportunity to come in, and I felt we just sort of present this tonight and see what the commission's feeling is. Because I, I mean, if you submitted it, we need to know which law, no. The lots are going to have to be one yeah. by the time you submit, if that's what you what you do. In other words, that's part of where we were in trouble before, is, is right. submitting something with two different lots. Yeah. Well, I think on the application that we did mention this lot, this lot, and then a portion of a separate lot. So it would be, again, we would have no problem revising the full application, presenting it before the commission. Uh, well, can't be anything much worse than what hold, you've got. Hold, hold your thought on that. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a few that were, so. This is a little bit different. It's similar, but it's different. It's, um, it kind of uses the idea of what we were proposing, which is to fill wetlands and replicate. What this plan illustrates is a mirror image of the lot that was developed over here, with the exception of we're proposing to fill in about 1,700 square feet of wetlands behind the house and replicate 3,500 square feet of wetlands over here. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I know that Mr. Clark in the past has, you know, wanted about a, you know, a, a reasonable backyard. You know, having a 30-foot setback to the resource area and a five-foot limit of work and a five-foot. Admittedly, that's that's pretty tight. So what we decided to do is take what was permitted over here, use the amount of backyard and side yard and everything that was permitted on this lot because we have something visually that we can look at and see that the see what the outcome was, what, what it ended up at. Again, we're ma maintaining the 41 feet, the 21 feet. It's the same size footprint of the house. In this case, we, we had to relocate the reserve area back over here, but the septic system will be designed in the same location. Um, again, that's, that's an alternative which I think gives the commission maybe a little bit more, um, uh, well, it gives the applicant a little bit more of a yard. It gives the commission a little bit more twice the uh, the, the wetlands area that's here. And that's really why I'm here tonight is if the commission feels that this is a, a better idea, then, then we can you were right, you were right, you were right. Yeah, you don't care for that. Again, it was one of those things that I, I mentioned to my client. We had already filed an application to fill in wetlands, and he said, well, why can't we just fill in the back here? I ran it by Brad, who did the wetlands delineation. He said that there's, you know, it's, again, it's, there's no stipulation that says you have to fill in 5,000 square feet for a driveway, that you can do it for whatever purposes. In this case, it was to allow us to have a little bit more backyard so that, you know, down the road, um, you know, Hopefully the people can maintain their 25-foot their, uh, backyard. Yeah, yeah. So again, the square footage that's here is the same that's over here with the exception of the, the, the filling in the backyard over there and the replicating over in this location. My, my thoughts there are one, a lot of expenditure of money that isn't really going to accomplish a whole lot for replicated wetlands for the most part, are never anywhere near as good as natural wetlands. <coughs> I think that 
<laughs> the, total, the money you're going to be spent to do this, if it was put into a good barrier behind the house that we're probably going to demand, we'd probably be better off. And, and I believe we're so close to a wetland there, but this is almost, to me, it almost is going to need something in the deed saying, this is, you know, when you buy this now, you know you only go to here. I mean, this is it. This is where the wetland line is. Don't come back five years from now and tell us you want a swing set another 50 or 100 feet back. Right now, you know this, and this wetland isn't going to change. We, we have been doing it in East Bridgewater, and I'm just throwing it up in different ideas that we come across at different times, but what uh, John Delano reviews for the town of East Bridgewater has been requiring a lot of these tight situations is that we do an exhibit sketch. That basically, it's a, a, a restricted area that goes around the perimeter that's agreed upon between the commission. It gets recorded with the deed. It gets transferred deed to deed to deed. When you, you know, if that property gets sold, then the next attorney, it, it, it's, it's the same thing as an exhibit for a right of way or things like that. They call them conservation commission restrictive easements, things like that. I don't think they can call it an easement because I don't think you can take an easement on somebody's so I'm not a, uh, an attorney, but I know it, 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 there's, there's, a, there's a term that they use that, that, that does protect that, uh, at least gives the potential new buyer down the road the, the knowledge that it's there. I, from my standpoint, I would think that you or your client could get a hold of this type of a restriction as being used elsewhere. Uh, and submit it along with all of your other paperwork and all that. It might help the other one. So we're back to this, this idea. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Again, and the only reason we brought that when we when we did discuss it, it was more to sort of take all the ideas, what we've gone through with the original application, and what we've gone through, to try to give you something that you know. Uh, Obviously, my client doesn't want to spend any more money replicating weapons, but it's one of these. Let's see if we can try to give a little bit here. You have, have, have to spend it to the lawyer, which is just as bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, I think I got a feel for where you're at as far as that this would be a little bit more acceptable with some additional protections on, on the 25 foot line. Um, is that acceptable 25 or can, since I'm here, can I ask for an extra five feet to make it 20 just behind this corner of the house? Well, I think you're going, we're going to have to allow you more than that with the hay bale line because there's not enough room there to get around to, to get the corner of the house with equipment. Right. So you've got to get around there. Uh, and we're, we start getting into the restrictions you have, uh, a vegetated barrier, or, or whatever we may want to uh, move it again. And it, I just want to let the board know that this is a thing. They were in the 100 foot zone, they were in the 50 foot zone. I mean, you probably have grounds not to accept it, but at the same time, if you whether or not they're good enough grounds that the EP will will back you up or not. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's better to take and restrict a lot than it is to say no and let DEP write the orders. In other words, get as much protection as you can at, at home and you know, do it because when you go to DEP, they've been, they've backed us lately, but that doesn't always mean it's going to be. And in a situation like this, they could cut down you know, what we said and make it even you know, more because they are out of the work. I think of all the sets of plans we've seen, because I, I think we had an issue back in one time when I saw this, it was two lots combined, but it hadn't, that lot hadn't been approved by the, the town board. That's why we said, well, if you can get it approved, we'll take a look. But this is probably one of the better, of all the different variances we've seen, I think that's probably is is one of the better ones without trenching all the way in, out, around, and coming in off the back side. So. I don't think that is approved yet. It probably would be, but. 
the um, the, com yeah, the lots com combined in two lots, it's right? Not it's not approved yet, right? I'm sorry. The, to combine the two lots, is that approved? Well, I don't think it needs to be because they're two lots of record. They would just go as a condition that they would be recorded as one deed, and then once they get conveyed, it's basically one property. I mean, there's yeah. not really a mechanism to extinguish an existing interior lot line. Other than there's a there's a surveyor's plan that we can do, which just basically says we're not creating any new properties. We put a little note on there, and we can do that, and it says that the purpose of this plan is to is to combine these two under single ownership. Right. It's not something that goes before the planning board, and but it's just to be divided in the future. So right. Yeah. Right. So right. And, and, and right. what we could also do on, so on, that, we don't go through this on that plan is we can put that restrictive right yeah. on that plan. And yeah. That's not creating a lot line, so we can get that approved through the registry. Right. So. All right, um, and again, just the idea, just throwing it out there, what, what we found is in East Bridgewater, again, one of the towns that sort of gets into these is that uh, they usually will require a post and rail fence that, you know, will allow uh, right along that, so it becomes uh, semi-permanent, you know, it'll last the, um, you know, the uh, maybe 20 years, yep. you know, at least it'll be there, and then the post to put right on top of this, you know, alternating every other post. Yep. Okay. Again, we want to look in the details of this. This uh, mechanism has to be maintained. Right. In the yard. Right. Like uh, it, it, you, allow, you can do a lot of this restriction, and it helps future. And this is uh, a future buyer. It's not so much his first buyer. He knows. He can see what's there. Mm. It's the buyer that comes, comes down the road a little down. later yeah. on that thinks he's. Got a beautiful house out in the country, and I've got three acres of land. Well, you got three acres of land and 15 feet behind your house before you can you can't use it. Yet. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I appreciate you letting me come by and throw another idea out there, a couple ideas out there to try to see if we can you know, work with my client a little bit on this. And uh, sure. going back to the drawing board, and can I get a continuance and come back, and then we'll yeah. revise the application too. And then I know there's probably additional fees because I think we only paid for the $500 fee. I think there's a you know, it'd be the same fees. It's still just one activity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, single we'll okay. yeah. How long do you think you need to? Uh, I can probably get you know whenever you. I mean, this is right in CAD, so I mean it's just to add this additional verbiage on here. It could probably be back in a couple of weeks, but I know you. I thought I overheard you saying you had to vote for the selectmen. And the 15th we do, so that would put us at what the 22nd. Three weeks to the 22nd, or two weeks to 15th. Yeah, the next week is a selectmen. We have a seven o'clock meeting then. So with that, right? Yeah. Do you want to wait till the 22nd? Is that what is that's three weeks? weeks yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, he's going to want the sooner the better, yeah. but it will be 20 seconds. Well, and again, perhaps you can get some of the, some of our legal yeah. things so we have something physically to, to look I'll, at. I'll, I'll actually I'll print out one that's been recorded from yeah, the registry, it's the one that I'm familiar with, and then I'll bring it, and then you know, if that's something that's acceptable, the more you can yeah. have to submit with sure. everything in one shot, maybe we can finally wrap this thing up and go with it. I appreciate it. All right, so it's on me. Do we have a motion to uh, continue it until the 22nd at 7:40? I'll motion to continue. Okay. Second? Aye. Second. Okay. Made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks again. What's the street address on that? Uh, I always forget. Uh, Rachel's getting out the street address. We've just been it's returning just been to lots. Yeah. I don't know if it's been yeah. granted because the lots get combined. I think there's new separate street numbers. Well, so we never what would be the next closest? Two, uh, it's one, the two. Two, this one I think was 240. Okay, yeah. 240. So we yeah. 240. Yep. Yeah. You'll see where this drainage ditch goes underneath yeah. the road. Mm -hmm. Just on the right hand side. And then there's a, a newer home up on the hill here. Right. Thanks again. Thank you'll you. see where the perk test was just recently done out front too. Great. Right. Right. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have old business. Bicentennial Trail. Yeah, no, no. Uh, just so we didn't, uh, been told it couldn't be mowed or would have to be done by hand. There's still one hanger in there, a red oak. Nothing much there. So we're hanging up on that one. And wild parchment. Um, 
we have a plan that I don't think we're going to approve from John Edgar uh, because it is too, too much of a chemical treatment. But I have come up with a technique that they use high pressure pressurized ammonia tanks and they till them into the cornfields to put the nitrate into the soil. Uh, ammonia could be used nitrate. Everything about that, Bob? I should put it in the ammonia and many of that fertilizers. Not necessarily. I, I, I would want more information before oh, no, just ready to do it. Somebody play with ammonia out around. Well, I, I'm using ammonia just as a catalyst as a nitrate. Oh, what yeah, do you feel about over fertilizing yeah. it with a nitrate, with a particle, ammonia, or a way of removing it and killing it, um, I think nitrate might be the lesser of all evils here. Before I want to go into a whole fledge of it to see it done on, yeah, on a something. couple of plants on a test basis, so, so, so I would, we, aren't, I would you know, we aren't all of a sudden faced with eight foot high parsnip. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> a uh, giant genetic parsnip. Yeah. I mean, it's um, you, with, so. with mother nature and a plant, you don't know necessarily how they're going to respond to any of these things. So that's why it needs a little yeah. testing on a limited basis. So um, ammonia comes diluted where it's not very strong. You can get that at the store. That is a nitrate and that's a, a product I would like to try a little bit of it with and um, I would say I'll talk to a fertilizer company and see. I know when I was working with some bog fertilizers they had very high nitrates in them. And uh, that might be a method to simply burn it with nitrate. So I would like to um, go through a process that would allow me to test a few spots. And that I wouldn't uh, be breaking rules or regs, and that it wouldn't be an ethics violation, and that we get permission, whatever we got to do to go through that process. So I'm not just running around throwing stuff around that I'm not supposed to. So. That's my motion. What does it take to dig up a plant and put it in a pot and put, do it someplace other than at, at the urn, right? In other words, uh, you know, we've, got, we've got some plants, but they're already buried up at the, uh, at the town pit. But I mean, I would prefer not experimenting at the, at the town, I mean, yeah. at, at the Heron Run. I mean, it's not a. No, I think so. Okay. It's like a place where I, where experimentation ought so to be taking would place. Redo the motion to have permission to go in and dig some material out, no more than a square foot at a time. Yeah, I believe you can go in and take up. Dig, we've already been digging down there for that purpose. Yeah, that's in a different I believe place. that's all part of the, the thing. I have no. I don't see there is a problem. That I think the board, if they want, you want the board to say you have permission. I think well, it's something important. Well, I want to make important. sure that we're threading the needle, you know, through the eye well, with the legality parts, so it's not going to well, have bites. Yeah. Also, I mean, we have we have said we could dig it up there in our past conversation. Right. So yep. I have no problem if you want to go and dig one or two plants yep. up and move them to a well, some location. other location to do your experimentation. To see if it's going to work. Yep, I could do that where I live, no problem. Yeah. That um, other guy from the MACC one, he never got back. He did. He wants to um, come in and spray it for free with Roundup. Oh. And, well, I, I personally, at this point, whatever it takes. Okay? Yeah, right. No, I thought uh, he had I'm a different. I'm opposed to that myself, but everybody else. Yeah, so. I thought he had a different way. Uh, uh, well, steam might be another way, but honestly, I think ammonia. They put it on the farmland and grow corn on it. I don't know what type of corn, of course, it might be giant corn. They but grow it's used, it's it's used in, if you use too much of it, though, it will kill a crop. Anytime you over nitrate fertilize, you run the risk of burning your grass, your yeah. lawn. Yeah. You, you see it all the time, they get too strong with it, and it's like black, not green, brown. So I think that's a good, a good possible way of dealing with this. I really do. I think we might have hit a nail on the head here. Yeah, try it. Yeah, it's stuff you works. buy at every every store. It's you, you know, buy it at Stop and Shop. It's not something. Yeah. You can buy Roundup too. Huh? Well, not a Stop and Shop, but well, you can buy it next door at the hardware store. Yeah. 
a watered down version. All right. Yeah. So we'll dig some out and try it. Yes. And see what happens. Absolutely. Thank you. I move we allow a removal of two up to two or, two or three. Three. We'll do three. Three wild parsnip plants from the area we'll on the Heron Run we'll southeast soil. of the gas building. With soil. Uh, yeah, and with that, soil. Uh, yeah, with the soil. And that there will be no debris left above ground right. level right. after the holes yeah. are somewhat filled. Okay. That and now, where are you going to take this to? To my shop. Under I have a I have an outdoor ventilated okay. area. Where I would ask that you're carefully because. Your drainage from that area yeah, heads to another very sensitive yeah, area. I'm going to so do it out back, not out front. If these plants re reproduce so easily, what can you do to stop that happening at your house? Um, it's simple. They're not reproducing unless they throw the seeds up. So it's in the right time of year where you're not going to get reproduction. Yeah. All right, good. No, no. Take photographs and show you the results. No, I'm not going to do it out front by the street drain. Yeah, well, <laughs> It, we are in a sensitive oh, no, area. Oh, I agree. Right? You know. so all of a sudden, they get to be more than five foot tall. I don't want <laughs> a quick no, call. No, I'm going to make to sure they do something I'm going to make sure they die. Okay. You see, homeowners do it all the time on their lawns. I think I could do this. No, again, I have played. I have used straight urea yep. and all. Yep. But I have never had it had it burn. We've uh, produced. Cranberry vine is strong enough that you can walk on it without <laughs> bending it, but I mean, we never to the point where it kills kill anything it. like that. Yeah. I mean, so. So we'll figure maybe, it out. Maybe we just didn't did push it far enough, but uh, I mean, we, we pushed it so it could really get into the green, well, into the plant itself, and made it grow. I've done that a lot. Okay. So we have a motion. Is it seconded? I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 